on this graphic fluff outro model and today we are reviewing Tamiya's 1 in 48 scale German flag panzer 4 or commonly known as the Verblind. It's my favorite uh, anti-aircraft vehicle in War Thunder so I decided to give it a shot. Now why did I choose this model kit in 1 in 48 scale? Well, it includes a die cast chassis. Uh, I'll talk about it more later on. So the box is very black which I really like because it gives a nice premium feel to it on this side you can see the paint scheme and uh, the colors that you will need for the model kit see and on the other side see the die cast chassis and the finished model kit along with the figurines that you get so it's pretty simple so Let's get into it. So we're taking a look at the decals, the instructions, and this little leaflet right here. So Tamiya, with every of the 140 scale kit, has this small leaflet which shows all the kits in the collection. Of course, there are even some figurines and some extra sets. I really like this. Uh, so right here you can see which vehicles you can get for a diorama or something like that the decals um, this is actually my second take I should say because the first take uh, didn't record any audio for some reason so yeah so you have a greased paper and simple decal sheet there aren't many decals of course this is a vehicle but it's very nicely printed out and it's in matte finish the instructions on the first glance were look very nice I do not like them. Uh, why? We'll get to that in a second. So on the front page you have some info about the vehicle in English, German, French and Japanese of course. And some recommended Tamiya tools. And this is why I do not like them. That's why. They're not a normal booklet. Uh, yeah, that's really unfortunate, uh, but yeah, here you can see some precautions and the paints that are required for the build. Pause if you wish to know more. Uh, there is no diagram to see where the uh, parts are, but they're mapped by a number and a... Uh, uh, letter the instructions are pretty basic though I do have to note to everyone here that you should use super glue when attaching plastic parts to the metal die cast hull normal Tamiya cement glue will not work because this is for uh, plastic on plastic action and not plastic on metal but yeah plastic uh, plastic construction also here I wouldn't do the construction of the tracks immediately but afterwards a thing too that I like about the instructions is that they, they include the zimmered coating where it should go in the instructions itself also the crew members are both in winter and summer clothes which is nice as well we unfortunately only have one paint seam but they were, weren't really specific about it, so you can do whatever you want on it. Here's a closer look at it. Overall, I feel like they should have done a little bit better on the instructions, but hey ho, what can you do? Let's move on to the plastic. Plastic comes in six sprues. As far as I can see, there's only one original sprue. And that is this one. It contains the hull, the turret, and the crew members. So let's check it out first. I just focus. Yeah, nice. So the detail is very nice. I really like the riveting, though I do feel like it's a little bit too deep. Some tools are on the model itself already, which uh, I have mixed feelings about, but in this scale, I can let it go. Other than that, it 
the plastic looks very crisp and it has a nice, nice feel to it. The turret is in two pieces of course and the details inside is pretty gorgeous I have to say. They did include the rivets as well, they are round but uh, in this scale I'll, uh, you can let it slide. Also the crew members, there are four crew members in total. The detailing is gorgeous, I have to say. Tamiya makes amazing figures in 1 in 48 and both in uh, 1 in 48 and 1 in 35 scale. Here are the crew members. So yeah, very nice indeed. The second sprue is from a normal Panzer 4 J. So you've got your mudguards, uh, front and back basing pieces, uh, various shoots and holders, extra tracks, no, all the classic Panzer 4 pieces. The plastic looks very nice, crisp. I, I would feel it would be nice if they included a metal towing hook, but in this scale this will work just fine. Unfortunately the front piece, the extra armor, isn't riveted so this indicates that this is a Panzer IV late version if I remember correctly. So yeah, nothing much to see on the other side. This sprue, the next one, is part of their 1 in 48 scale Pan flak 38 I think it is yeah probably that uh, let's see. it's a fairly nice looking sprue um, the detailing on the parts is quite amazing in the scale I have to say fortunately there are no driven out holes but every modeler should have a vice and so should you pretty nice indeed our side is quite empty now there's two of the same sprues these ones are for tracks so one sprue for each track for each side the tracks are quite high quality if my camera will focus that'd be very nice on them of it yeah you can see very nice high quality. I would actually use these over Friul tracks because Friul in this scale is quite hard to deal with. Even in 35 scale it's quite a challenge but these tracks are just so nice that uh, I recommend using them. The wheel holder pretty nicely detailed. The wheels and the sprockets it this is uh, I have to say, this just looks like a really perfectly made 1 in 35 scale downscale and detailing, ah, it's just beautiful, I, I have to say that. I didn't really expect to see so much quality, I usually, I usually don't buy Tamiya, but man, this is very nice. Also, a thing to note here is that they actually bended the tracks slightly, maybe that's just shipping, but you can see, the tracks are slightly bent. Uh, right here, so they, they created uh, we created natural sag that pens force had. So that's also nice. So next up, the metal hull. The metal hull weighs exactly 100 grams, which is about as much as all the plastic in this kit. Why do I mention it? Be well, it's because it's a specialty that Tamiya added. I don't remember any other company doing this. The piece is quite well detailed, though most of it will be covered up by plastic parts in the front, back and the side. So you won't see it much. But once you pick up the model, you will feel it very, very much. I have to note that you should use a primer when painting the model. Why? Because normal paint will just be scraped off. Tamiya kit for only 20 euros, this is an exceptional piece. I recommend it to both beginners and advanced modelers. It's simple enough, 
so you can get a real sense of accomplishment when you build it and complex enough so, you can, so it can be a great competition piece. The addition of the metal hull and the extra figurines is a really nice touch to it. I hope you enjoyed my small review. As always, leave a like if you liked the review and comment below on your opinions on the model. As always, see you next time. Bye bye.